Hi, my name's AJ, I'm from 3D Printing Systems and today we're doing a video to show you how to manually level the bed on your Upbox 3D printer. Alright, we're using the latest Up Studio software. So we've just selected the calibrate function and we can see our auto level values displayed on the screen here. Uh, now you can see in the bottom three that we're quite out of level. Our auto level has given us a 0 0.53, uh, 0 0.57 and a 0 0.63. So it shows us that we might need to manually level our bed to get it a little bit better than that. All right, so what we're going to do, we need to raise our platform. Now we'll use the same calibration screen that we've been looking at. And we'll type in here in our dialog box the height that we want to move the platform to. Now the outbox have a, has a height range of around 203 to 208. So we're going to go to 200 and get it close to the nozzle tip. And then we're going to move up in small increments from there. So typing in 200 and then click move. And we'll also move it to the number 5 position, which is the center as well. And then we'll click the number 7 button, which will move it to the front left position. So at this stage we're looking to get the platform about 1 to 2 mil away from the nozzle. And we're just going to judge the distance by eye. So looking at my printer at the moment, it looks like it's about 5 or 10 mil away. So we're just going to do it in small increments. I'm going to do an extra 3 mils and we'll click move and we'll have another look. So we've still got quite a way to go. So let's go another 3 mils and we'll go move. And we're looking like we're pretty close now. I might raise it another millimeter. So mine's at 207 now. And we're about one to two mils away. So we'll stop it there. All right, so from here, we've got our platform about one to two mil away. We're gonna move it to the number nine position or the front right side to establish if we've got a high, high corner and a low corner. So moving across now, and already we can see that the right side looks significantly lower than the left. All right, so what we want to do is we want to go either raise or lower the right side, depending on what we need to. In this case, it'll be raising the right side so that it matches what we have on the left. So we'll toggle the thumb screws and we'll slacken it off a bit. And we're about one to two moles away on the left side. So we'll keep going until we hit that point. Now we're getting pretty close there. All right, so now that we're pretty close, we'll raise the platform a little bit more to decrease that distance, and then we can make a finer adjustment. So we'll go 208. Now we want to get closer than a millimeter. So I'm moving mine to 209. And again, notice we're doing it in small increments just so we can avoid accidentally crashing the platform into the nozzle. Now it's pretty close there, I'd say within a millimetre or less. Now we're going to move it to the left side and again, just judging by eye, we'll see if there's still a high and a low side. Alright, so the right side is still slightly lower. We're going to move back to the right side, the number 9 position. And we'll play with our thumb screw a little bit more. And I think we're getting pretty close there. One last check. Moving back to the number seven position on the left side. And that's looking pretty good. All right, so the reason we moved the back center position is because the platform sits on a triangle, triangle base. You notice that we've got one thumb screw in the front left and right, and then the other one's back in the center. So sort of like a triangle. Now by doing the front left and right, and only the center, the back left and right um, corners should pretty much be level with the rest of the platform. So from here we're going to go straight into an auto level. Now we'll choose the type of board we have, a perforated board. Now it's going to set in the software those new nine calibration points and whether there's any difference between them. Now while it's doing this, a couple of things to note. 
Uh, before you start the procedure, you need to make sure that you've got a clean perforated board and a clean platform. All right, so no dust or debris and make sure that the perforated board is scraped clean on both sides. And that's after we finish this procedure. If you've got any problems or had any problems previously with lifting or parts not sticking down to the bed, this should alleviate a lot of those issues. So moving to the number seven position. And it will take a few more calibration values now. And once it's finished the auto leveling procedure, it's also gonna ask us to set our nozzle height as well. And it'll do that automatically using the nozzle height sensor at the back left of the platform. So process keep going. Now this can take a little while. There's no reason why you can't perform a platform preheat before you start this process. And then that way your board's gonna be nice and toasty for you to start a test print once you're finished to check that you've done it correctly and check that the leveling and the nozzle height are all correct. And we're coming to our last position now. All right, so we've got our auto level servo retracting. And our platform lowering. And now it's automatically going to do our nozzle height detect as well. Now don't be worried if your nozzle height is, a lot, is slightly or a, a bit different to the, the last nozzle height you had. Uh, because the level has changed, your nozzle height will change as well. And once you've done this procedure once, and if you get it right the first time, you shouldn't have to do this again unless you run into any troubles with your, uh, with your prints or with your printing. Alright, so the software has given us a new nozzle height of 210, the previous nozzle height was 209.6, so it has changed slightly again because we've changed the level of the platform. But that's the process complete, now we can go from here and start a test print.